What is this place? Might as well jump. Buenos dias, or however you say that. So are you looking to create eye-sucking subtitles that make people want to have a lobotomy? Well, you probably came to the right place. So I've spent like four years of my life perfecting this technique, and now I'm going to show you how to do it in like 10 minutes. So let's get started. So right here, I got my footage, and now we got to do the most important step, and that's to add the subtitles. So click T, or this button. Then if you hover over the display tab, or whatever it's called, you're going to notice a goofy looking cursor. Just left click, and then type what the person is saying. In a pro tip, I like to do is one to four words on the screen at once. Now that we got our first little subtitle guy, it should be like this like pink brick right here. So now go into the effects controls. Then you're gonna see this text bar kind of thing. Click on the arrow pointing at the eye and wow, look at all those options. But don't worry, you only need to worry about like four of them. So let's get started. So you're gonna see Tahoma. That's like your font collection. So if you click on it, you're gonna see a bunch of fonts pop up. And if you click the star beside them, it favorites it. And if you see up here, it's like a filters. You're going to see this small cloud. That's fonts from Adobe. The star is your favorited fonts. And the one on the very, very, very right, I don't even know what that is. But if you click on it, it'll bring you to an Adobe website where you can download fonts from. Then if you scroll down to appearance, just ignore everything else, you're going to see fill. That changes like the meat of the color or like the main color. I like to keep it white. If it's any other color, it gets kind of hard to read. Next is stroke, which adds an outside board or color thing. If it's just me talking, I don't really have a stroke, but if I'm playing with multiple people, I'll have maybe a different color stroke for each person. And this value right here changes the size of the stroke. Then it's background. Just ignore background, we don't talk about it. Shadow. I always put it on because it makes the subtitles pop. And if you want to turn it on, hit the check mark, and then you're going to notice all these options pop up. I usually just ignore them. All I do is just change the color to black because the base color is some nasty gray and it looks so awful. Next, go back to the display thing and click on the arrow dude, or just click V. Then click on your text, and then you can move it around or scale that guy up. And if you hold control, you could get some guidelines to lock on, like guides in the middle of your screen, and you can like center them. I usually center him kind of on like the bottom-ish corner of the screen. Now the juicy part that you guys have been waiting for, and that's animating. So go into effects and look up transform, and then drag it on your text block or subtitle, and then go into effects controls and find transform, and then you're going to see so many options. I'm just going to show you a really simple animation, and then I'm going to show you a very advanced one. So the first thing for any animation with transform is turn the shutter angle to 360. That's just going to add some motion blur, which makes the animation a lot smoother. Then go to opacity and click this stopwatch. That's going to place a keyframe. Then you're going to see this 100 thing and turn that to zero. That's going to make it go invisible. Now we're going to make it fade back in. Click the right arrow key three times. That's going to make us go three frames forward and then change the zero to 100. Next, go to the position thing and click on the stopwatch and it should turn blue. Then go 10 frames forward and then click on this diamond thing in between the two arrows. That's going to place a new keyframe. Then click on the arrow pointing to the left. That's going to bring you to the previous keyframe, which should be the first one. Then you're going to see these two numbers. The first one changes left and right. The second one, which we will be using, changes the vertical position. So up and down. Next, to make our text go up and down, we need to drag the number up. Kind of weird that it's not down, but doesn't matter. So I'm going to drag it to like 400. So add 40 to your base number. And this is going to make the sliding animation. To make the animation smoother, we're going to click on this arrow pointing at the stopwatch. Then a box kind of thing is going to pop up under our keyframe. And just click on the last keyframe and then drag that slider to the left to make a ramp kind of thing. And boom, that is the basic animation. Now the intermediate one. This is adding a pop in. So go to the scale and change the value from 100 to 85. This is going to make it smaller and then make sure your stopwatch is actually on so that it's blue so you're actually placing keyframes so then go to your first frame and then go five frames forward and change it to like a hundred so it should be the first frame is 85 and then the fifth frame is a hundred and then it should make like a popping effect and to make it a little smoother right click the last frame and then change it to brazier it's French for something, but it just kind of makes it go smooth out at the end of the animation. So it's just a little better. Now for advanced, there are a few things we can do. First one is making it slide back down. So go to the first position keyframe and drag it like 10 frames past the last one, which should be your middle keyframe. And it should look something like this. I also like to add a fade out. So go to the last position keyframe, then scroll down to the opacity keyframes and set it to zero right under the last position keyframe. Then go a few frames back by clicking the left arrow key and set it to 100. Now go back to your timeline and drag your little text guy around by holding Alt to duplicate it and then drag it to the next few words and then type whatever you say then. And boom, you're done. Goodbye. Thanks for watching the whole tutorial. <laughs>